welcome to Southern Yankee DIY. I'm Leah and I'm so glad to have you here today. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because you don't want to miss out on any of the Southern Yankee DIY projects, room renovations, or budget heavy home decor. Today we have something extra sweet planned for y'all. We joined up with a bunch of other incredibly talented YouTube friends of ours to bring y'all some fun and easy Valentine's decor crafts. We've got so much planned for you. I'm gonna show you how to make some DIY tea towels to bring a little love to your kitchen. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. I get my tea towels from Target. They come in a set and they're only like five bucks, which is a great deal because then you can do lots of different projects. For this project, I'm gonna use two tea towels. First, I'm gonna take my measuring tape and measure out exactly where I want the width and the length of my vinyl to be. I'm gonna use my sparkly red and my shiny black vinyl. I use my Cricut to do all of my lettering. Um, you could also use stencils and in fabric paint. It's up to you. After I get all of my vinyl um, cut, I'm going to go ahead and weed it out on my Cricut light pad. It just makes everything so much easier to see. I really, really love it. Um, I'm going to do some of the accent pieces in the sparkly red and then the other letters in my shiny black. I think it'll make a good contrast and keep it interesting. Once I have everything weeded out, I like to go ahead and set up my vinyl just to see where I want it to be placed, make sure it's centered and even. Now it's time to iron on my vinyl onto the tea towel. I'm going to use this gift box to go in between my tea towel and my work area just because I don't want any unnecessary accidents. Go ahead and iron out your tea towel first um, just to make sure that the area is smooth. You don't want any wrinkles in the tea towel before placing your vinyl. When I iron on my vinyl, I go ahead and let the iron sit on top of my letters and words for about 30 seconds. Then you should be good to peel. If it starts to pull off, just re-iron that surface. My husband and I always joke this is the only time I ever use my iron is when I'm doing projects. If clothes need ironing, we just don't buy them. and add my pop of color with the sparkly red vinyl. Um, I'm just gonna place them where I want them to be placed and then iron them the same way that I did the other letters. One tea towel done, one to go. I'm just gonna start this process the same exact way, ironing out um, my tea towel until it's smooth so that I can start to place my vinyl. Once I have everything exactly how I want it, I just go ahead and iron on the same way, keeping the iron on each letter or word for 30 seconds. Then I'm good to go ahead and peel back the transfer paper. me make my cookie recipe tea towels you know that after that process I was done but I wanted to add a little extra something to these so I used some old Christmas ribbon and decided that I would weave it through the bottom of the tea towels to do this I just used a pair of my sharp Cricut scissors 
and cut little slots at the bottom of the tea towel every about four inches. Towel fabric will leave a few stray ends. Don't worry about those. I'll show you how to take care of those later. Just continue to weave your ribbon in and out. Once I got to the center of the tea towel where my lettering is, I went ahead and tied a cute little bow just to add a little extra sweetness to the project. Secure your ribbon to both ends of the tea towel, go ahead and tie a little knot at each end. This way they can't pull through the little slots. To make sure that they're extra secure, we're going to use some fabric Mod Podge and um, glue the back of the tea towel. The fabric Mod Podge is supposed to be washer friendly, so we'll see how it holds up. I've never used it before, um, I actually got it on accident because I needed some dishwasher safe Mod Podge and ended up getting this one instead. There's so many options it gets confusing sometimes. We're also going to use this fabric Mod Podge to um, close up the phrase in our slots. This will keep the phrase from unwinding and also give the ribbon a little extra hold security. And that's it, two adorable Valentine tea towels to add to your kitchen. Don't forget to check out all of my other friends' DIY Valentine projects below. I'll go ahead and link them for you. And have yourself a very lovely day.